What's up, dudes? Max here. So, uh, yeah, I've had an insanely busy week trying to get to as many things as possible to capture footage as well as be ready for all this Tokyo Game Show news. But the biggest stuff has been all the information that's popped out for Street Fighter VI, as well as Ken uh, actually being a character that is playable in the Tokyo Game Show build of SF6, which is crazy. Um, I got a unique opportunity with very little time to go check out the game as well as the character, and uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. This is my first impressions of Ken. So uh, once again, we're here like the third time with Street Fighter 4, uh, Street Fighter 5, and now Street Fighter 6, where I get to tell you guys what Ken is like in the game. Um, and this one has me pretty excited. A big shout out to Capcom for allowing us access to the build. Uh, this was very cool of them and very like spur of the moment that they were able to get us to do this. So we were able to get in, get some capture, and at least let me tell you guys about this. I'm going to be talking a lot about Ken, and I'll be giving some impressions in another video of other characters like Guile, Kimberly, and Jury because they were playable. Admittedly, I put like five times as much time into uh, Ken than any of those other characters, but I do have quite a bit of match footage to go over them. But let's talk about Ken right now. And um, my first impression of the character is also kind of similar to other characters in Street Fighter VI. Their toolkits are greatly expanded. I think I ended up getting footage of most of the stuff in here, and honestly, one of the best ways to get uh, some better uh, footage of the character is to first see what the CPU does. So there is quite a bit of that throughout this, and I do get some matches where we're able to figure things out, but the CPU really shows off, you know, oh, this is what's possible, and that's just the surface level of, you know, what's going to be possible with this character. Let's talk about base moveless. So they didn't change much um, in terms of classic Street Fighter II Shotos. Ken does retain a lot of his old elements. He's got a Hadouken, he's got his Tatsu, and he got his Shoryuken, right? That's great. But the big one is all the little stuff throughout the previous versions of Ken throughout his history, where they have made some interesting adjustments as well as some new things. So, more importantly, uh, what made Ken really fun in previous games? Well, he had previous mobility tools, so he had like a roll in some situations. He had a run in Street Fighter V, and he had some pretty fun normals in previous Street Fighters like Street Fighter IV. Um, I'm really happy to say that a lot of that stuff is actually here, along with new tools. So, uh, let's talk about some of the new moves, and Ken's got a run. He does have a cancelable run that feels pretty similar uh, to the speed of Street Fighter V uh, Ken's run. You activate it with two kick buttons, and there's multiple things you can do out of the run, um, which lead to a variety of mix-up options. So if you press light kick after the run, he uh, he essentially stops. You can run cancel. If you press uh, medium kick, he runs and does his overhead. And if you press uh, heavy kick, I think he goes into his classic toe tap. So uh, all of these are really good options and they're pretty quick too. Ken's got a kind of a fast, kind of lightning fast overhead in this game. But uh, those attacks are also related to another special move that he has, which is honestly one of my favorite specials that Ken has ever had. And it's his Crazy Kicks. Uh, crazy Kicks got that, got that name from old school Super Turbo, where Ken suddenly had three different kick attacks that were attached to each of the kick buttons. So light kick, medium kick, heavy kick, and they did different properties. Uh, it's the same thing here and they have follow-up. So the cool part is that you do fireball forward with a uh, light kick, you get this classic, like just sort of mid crazy kick. You get a, uh, a heavier one on medium and an even slower one on heavy. And if you do the slowest one, it actually, I think is plus on block, which is awesome. The light one is the quickest and is easiest to combo into. They do combo from lights, which is very CVS2 like, which I absolutely love. But if you press forward with the attack button again, after like forward light kick, forward medium kick, as well as forward heavy kick, it leads into like a Rekka situation. So the light one is like a, a, a low, and it's a like a, a check you low where they will be stunned and I think you're left at advantage. It looks really cool. The medium one is a proper overhead and the uh, heavy one is a like the most damaging big strike, but it's kind of like a high attack. I think it could be ducked. So it's really cool. Like if you get a couple of like light, like short light light on the ground, or I'm sorry, uh, short jab jab, you can combo into these kicks. The EX version is also really good. It leads into like a big three hit combo. We saw that stuff in the trailer. Um, so it felt very nice. Like, light hit confirms with Ken felt like a classic thing that he's had in previous games. And they kept that, and I uh, I really appreciated that. The other new special he has is um, Shoryu with Kick. And it's like a jumping, lunging 
kick attack that allows him to uh, sort of like stun the opponent on the ground. It doesn't seem like, it, it's kind of hard to figure out its its usefulness. It, it feels sort of similar to the crazy kicks where the heavy one might be like relatively good on block, but it's a little slow. The weird part about it is if you did it after a target combo and Ken's target combo, the classic one where it's like strong into fierce, uh, medium punch to heavy punch, launches the opponent. And once the opponent is, is launched, you can do the move. And if you do the EX version, it catches them and like side switches and puts you into like a juggle state. And then you can like juggle the opponent with EX moves or super or anything like that. It felt like if you're gonna get your opponent into a, uh, a target combo, you're not gonna you're not gonna end it with Shoryuken. Uh, you're just gonna go into this thing. It's gonna flip sides and then you get another follow up after. A lot of Ken's specials, I think it's the Shoryuken, the Tatsu, as well as uh, as well as the the Shoryu with kick. This new like jumping lunging kick move. If you do these attacks out of the run, all their properties change. You get new special moves. Uh, Ken's Shoryu by default is not like his big flaming Shoryuken. It just is a regular classic Street Fighter 2 Shoryuken. And if you do it out of the run, it's like Ken gets momentum and no shit, he gets big old flaming uppercut and seems to have different properties, different damage, different frame data, stuff like that. But you have to do it out of run. And the same thing applies to Tatsu. Ken's Tatsu gets fire on it all of a sudden. If you do the Tatsu, which does more damage, I don't think they're high attacks anymore. I think they were mids. I was like, oh, okay. So this leads to new combo stuff. It's a really big, uh, really big corner carry sort of move that you would want to use. And then finally, the uh, the other attack, the the jumping lunging uh, kick attack turns into a big fire spin move and it gets much faster and no kidding you leads to a huge juggle situation where you don't even have to use the EX one. So after target combo, you do a run cancel into the big spinning kick attack. They flip sides and they're left in a juggle state, which gives you essentially like a meterless uh, juggle opportunity to go into super or go into uppercut or if you want to spend meter in the end, it's actually really cool. So this stuff is fun, right? Uh, granted, the other things that are really fun on Ken are the fact that his buttons are great. He has a great low forward. His standing heavy punch, I thought was his standing medium punch, but it's this huge, like, lunging standing heavy attack that feels very good to, like, cancel into drive rush combos and stuff like that. Uh, so I was quite impressed. And I do have to say, on a visual level, I was kind of surprised how much older they made Ken look. In some of the shots, he looks quite old, but when it comes to the super flashy animations that Ken has and his big supers between his level one, his level two, and his level three, man, these these huge cinematic things are extremely cool looking and is honestly, in my opinion, the best that Ken has ever looked in a 3D Capcom game. It was one of the, one of the biggest complaints I've had about Ken as a character is that his visual style in Capcom fighting games just hasn't looked great uh, between him looking like He-Man like and he still looks He-Man like to a degree but just cooler to whoever the hell was in Street Fighter 5 and his goofy hair all this stuff looks amazing there's a lot of physics there's a lot of flowing motion I, I'm not completely sold on his costume I do like it but it's it's a very different thing and apparently Ken's going into hiding or some nutty story that we don't know the entirety about which we're probably going to find out in the story mode but I'd say overall I'm very impressed with his visual design and I don't think I've ever been more excited to play Ken in something in a very long time. So let's just finally talk about his supers and stuff because I am going to have a video that goes over every single super in the game and some of the critical arts have changed. Some stuff I just there just wasn't there before in the old uh, Summer Games Fest build of the game. So I'm going to have another video that I'm going to put together coming out very soon that is going to go over all of the supers and their visuals and how the regular ones look compared to the critical arts and the level ones and the level twos coming very soon, so don't worry, I'm going to be editing that. But Ken's supers are great. Uh, his, his level one has done fireball back with kicks, two fireball backs with kicks, and it's a great, like, just get damage out. It seems to combo from anything. It combos from toe tap and stuff like that. It's very good, uh, but it doesn't combo, obviously, after special moves. So toe tap is acting as a command normal, I think, so that's why you can combo after it. His level two is Shippu Jinrai. There's a lot of references to Third Strike in this thing, which is extremely cool and uh, is a very functional super. It's easy to combo into this thing and is probably the one that you're going to be seeing the most. 
because funny enough, his level three is a super cinematic, like Shin Shoryuken, like Shin Ryu Repa sort of uh, attack. And it looks very much like Street Fighter four and how Street Fighter four, uh, his, his ultra one, you know, in the old game, it's very much like that, where if you connect with the cinematic version of it, you get the big crazy cinematic and he has like a, a, a punch down for the critical art in the end, super sick looking. But it does have the same functionality as the old Ultra, where if you whiff the opening hit of animation, like if you cancel it after a DP and go into level three, he does like the Shoryu Repa that comes out after, and it allows you to get a follow-up. There's enough juggle where you can get a DP follow-up and possibly even more stuff if you want to use like EX attacks and things like that. That could be uh, potentially worth it where you might want the juggle more than the cinematic, I don't know. Either way, it's cool that it's got multifunctionality, and you have to figure out ways to combo into the cinematic one. I just didn't have the time to, to figure all that stuff out. I will say I am pretty damn impressed with the character on a first playthrough, and easily of all the characters that are in Street Fighter V right now, there are some others that do I have some interest in, but Ken is clearly like the one that everyone's expecting me to play and is one of the characters that I'm possibly the most excited for gameplay-wise and story-wise and visually than any Street Fighter character. The next other one I would probably say is Dudley and Sean, and I hope they show up at some point, but this is like the primo character for me, so I'm very glad to report that a lot of what they're doing with Ken is nuts, and a lot of what they're doing has a lot of variants and a bigger toolkit than I would say he's ever had in any other fighting game. It feels like this Ken just takes little bits of other Kens that are very fun between Third Strike, CVS2, Classic Super Turbo, and stuff like that, that make this a very much a, a full package character. And also the fact that they just gave him his run, right? Oh, he's also got his run, you know? And that's awesome because Ken has always been the Shoto with like a little bit more mobility outside of like, demon flips that Akuma has and stuff like that. Ken's always had his goofy role. He's always had like a, a way to move horizontally across the screen for rushdown. It just feels like they get it, you know? And that's the that's the feeling I've had with other characters in Street Fighter VI in general. Even the little bit of time I had with Jury, Guile, and Kimberly, like these characters' toolkits are massive. Either way, I'll have another impressions video coming up very soon that'll be going over Kimberly, her gameplay, a little bit of Jury, and a bit of Guile. I'll talk about them in a follow-up video and try to get as much match footage as possible. My apologies if the color seems a little off on this. HDR was enabled on the capture and the editing programs we have don't support HDR unfortunately, so it makes it kind of an issue when we are uh, trying to edit this stuff together, so I did my best to make it look as good as possible. So I will be back with, once again, that super video, uh, going over all the supers of every character that is in the game as of right now, because some of them do look visually different, as well as uh, more match footage in general. I do get some matches in here. I do get some CPU matches that do show off a lot of crazy stuff the characters can do. So stay tuned, guys. There's a lot more info coming for Street Fighter Six. There's a lot more match footage that I'm going to be putting on the channel and doing my best to keep up with all this crazy Tokyo game shows stuff and i very much also appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this there's also the closed beta test that's coming up in a few weeks ken is going to be playable this is going to be the main character i'm playing and i'm going to try to get as much time with other characters as possible either way i do appreciate you guys watching and tuning in and leaving any likes or comments on the videos believe it or not it helps out a ton and i usually don't ask for it but considering this is a pretty big video for me and i was one of the first people to actually play ken it means a lot that you guys are all sticking around for this anyway have a good one dudes i'll be back with more footage in the future my name is max and i'll see you next time Ken wins!